What's going on guys in the works and we are playing some rush attack here on the Grand Bazaar and this is uh this is me using the suppressor which isn't something you're going to see very often but a lot of people have been asking me lately ooh that's some really really bad shooting close your eyes um, a lot of people have been asking me lately um, why don't I like the suppressor what are the differences between the flash suppressor and the suppressor aka the silencer we'll just call that the silencer not to confuse you guys with the flash suppressor um, and I don't use the silencer very often at all to be honest I found that with the recent patch they've really made it not that good I mean that's probably one of the attachments to get the biggest nerf because they made the damage drop off start a lot sooner and if you don't know what that means we'll talk a little a little bit about that here later on um, but they also made it so that hip fire is worse and um, well they didn't they didn't make it so that the vertical recoil was reduced when using the suppressor which is really nice I mean that's a really big advantage that's a sizable advantage to have uh, when using the suppressor not to mention that it already keeps you off the radar but the fact that it does increase the damage drop off makes it a really limited attachment if you find yourself right in people's faces if you find yourself being you know beyond 50 yards or 50 meters I should say, you want to try to avoid the suppressor because the suppressor is going to make it so that your damage drop off starts much sooner and you get to the minimum damage much, much sooner. So for instance here, you're seeing me use the M4. The M4, the damage hits its minimum at 50 oh, yards shit. or 50 meters. I keep saying yards. I, I keep wanting to be that American using yards, but no, 50 meters. It starts at 50 meters. Well, if you put on the suppressor, it's going to start at 30. So that means you're going to hit that 14.5 damage or whatever it is at its lowest much, much sooner, almost 20 meters sooner with the suppressor on. So if you find yourself engaging people up close, you might want to think about the suppressor because it is going to make it easier to control your weapon because the recoil is going to be reduced by you know a pretty good amount. Um, but you're also going to keep yourself off radar. Well, whereas if you find yourself shooting people really far, like at the end of this hallway, you notice I was getting a lot of hit markers. You might want to consider taking off the, you know, the suppressor and putting on the flash suppressor. So a lot of choices here. Basically, what what the flash suppressor does is it reduces the vertical recoil without affecting the damage and that's a pretty big advantage now both the the flash and the silencer both um, reduce the hip fire spread I mean it makes it a lot harder to uh, just kind of spray people down up close so if you find yourself oh, using uh, hip fired a lot you might want to reconsider either of these attachments and maybe you want to go for something else uh, maybe foregrip or something like that which doesn't really hurt it a ton so um, a lot of choices here I mean I would say that suppressor was one of the most used attachments um, before they patched it. Now I would say that it's probably one of the worst choices on a lot of weapons. Um, the weapons I do enjoy it on are the M4, the M16 are both solid solid choices because they do have a high rate of fire allows you to get in there close. Um, I found since they both do have really low recoil that the suppressor doesn't make that big of a deal because you can stay on target for those extra shots it's going to take at longer ranges because it just has such a flat recoil. So um, that's a situation where the where the silencer doesn't affect it a ton. The F2000, that's a great choice for the silencer because it has a lot of vertical recoil. And once again, it does shoot very, very fast. So if you can get on target and get those bullets in there real quick, um, it's going to do, you know, it's going to get the job done. Whereas weapons that shoot a little bit slower, like the AK-74M, that's, that's usually a weapon I like to stay away from with the silencer because it really seems to hurt it because you do shoot so, so slow with it. But... Um, really, it's going to come down to your playstyle. Like I said, with weapons that are in your face, such as the M4, I've really found that the suppressor is something that works well on it. Like um, the A91 used to be a weapon I used a lot suppressed too. So if you're a fan of the A91, you might want to try that out. Now, like I said, it's really going to limit your distance. Um, a lot of people say, like, oh man, I've put on the silencer now and I just feel like I can't kill anybody. Well, that's because you're shooting people, you're engaging them at ranges that you shouldn't be engaging them in. See, like right now, me engaging that guy, he's too far away. I shouldn't even be shooting at those guys. But um, eventually here, I learned my lesson and decided to take a different route to try to get a, get an angle on these guys. Because like I said, you just can't seem to do work at longer ranges with the suppressor. So it's definitely an in-your-face type attachments now. Um, it used to be a lot more versatile in my eyes. I used to, I used to use suppressor all the time, but rarely do you see me running it. Ooh, getting sniped. But um, overall, like I said, look for weapons that have a lot of vertical recoil. If you see a weapon and you find that it's hard to control upward recoil on it, try the suppressor on it. I mean, it does have an advantage of reducing that a lot. 
Um, if you don't want the downside of having the drop off, try the flash suppressor. So those are the two big differences, guys. I mean, uh, pretty set, you know, right in your face. You know, you understand what it means. I, I, I got faith in you guys because a lot of people have asked me about that. Like, why did I say that I don't like the suppressor? And th that's why right there, basically. Um, and I'm starting to ramble a little bit here, but overall, I think if I had to choose an attachment out of the two, I would definitely pick the flash suppressor. I found that staying off the mini map really isn't that big of a deal in Battlefield 3. It used to be in the beginning when people weren't as, and look at that freeze frame guy right there. It used to be a big deal in the beginning, but now anymore, um, you get spotted so often that it's not really a sizable advantage in my eyes. I feel like since you're always spotted, it doesn't really matter if you're on the radar or not when you fire. So. I mean, if you find yourself in situations where you're really lone wolfing it, yeah, I can I can see um, why you would really prefer the uh, the silencer. But honestly, the flash suppressor offers that vertical recoil reduction um, without the downside of reducing damage. So, um, me personally, definitely a flash suppressor guy. I use it on quite a few weapons now. Um, it's actually pretty nice. I use it a lot on the SKS even because um, the SKS does uh, does benefit from having almost no recoil uh, when you add the foregrip and the flash suppressor. So I don't know. Hopefully you guys enjoy this little look at it. You know, like I said, I don't use the M4 a ton. It's not one of my preferred choices on the engineer setup. I would much rather go for the A91, like you guys saw in the last um, <laughs> in the last showdown. A lot of people were mad that I like the A91 over the M4A1, but it's just personal preference, guys. I mean. Um, M4 gets the job done sometimes, but like I said, I'm an A91 guy just because I like to hip fire a lot, and it does get that hip fire bonus. So, let me know if you'd like to see more attachment type videos because I did want to do one on the foregrip uh, here in the coming days and kind of talk a little bit a little bit about that as well because a lot of you guys have asked uh, what kind of downsides there are to using the foregrip now because I also feel like they nerfed that a ton. Um, I think it, it's neck and neck for with the suppressor as being the most nerfed attachments with the patch. But I will see you guys later. Peace.